Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 21st, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather updates about earthquakes, and volcanoes, and world weather. Welcome to the show. Grateful to have you along. Having a look here, always the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun. We have those massive sunspot regions moving in, sunspot groupings, as we've had multiple sunspot regions pop up over the past 24 hours. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. This is where we see those large sunspot groupings. And as well, left side, large plasma filament. Let's hope that stays intact. Last 48 hours outgoing, zero sunspots. But definitely lots of action moving in right now. Solar X-ray flux higher hovering in a C range. Having a look at multi-spectrum, the last 48 hours of events. C-class solar flares, minor M-class solar flare. And as well, notable plasma filament southwest region there that is very tall. And a coronal hole ahead of the large sunspot grouping. Now, when I said multiple, I did mean multiple. Literally, we have nine sunspot regions that are on the Earth-facing sun. From just a few days ago when I was reporting none, and I had said, wait for all the activity to come from the backside. Well, here it is. Nine sunspot regions now, and especially notable on the right-hand side, bottom, fast-forming sunspot region, flaring apart there. This is another way to look at those large sunspot groupings coming in. Lots of fiery action, especially from the northern one. Southern one growing in complexity. So heads up. Having a look at the current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at 391 kilometers per second. Notable here, though, the solar x-ray flux coming in. 172 SFU. As we are up in high sea range today. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to four earlier this morning. I think that was a late arrival, most recent storm. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, showing a pretty large CME taking off towards Mercury. Not in an Earth-facing fashion, but definitely all that green energy space weather energy coming our way same with NOAA space prediction spiral there let's have a look at Alaska 3 the last 48 hours of events on our sun as we've seen a couple flares and as well coronal mass ejections especially there in the southwest and in the north Amazing stuff, and it kind of looks like Orion in the background there. Always know if you're up there looking at Orion at night throughout the winter, I am too. Now let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as this map looks pretty low numbers. Normally earthquakes are widespread around the world, but we are going through a really low lull right now. 4.1 reported there, Italy, early this morning. There's been lots of activity recently through there. 5.5, that was reported yesterday, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Most of the activity is coming from the United States, Alaska, and as well, Hawaii. So all of the United States under some pressure right now. Especially notable activity moving up into the San Francisco Bay Area. Having a look at USGS, as they're reporting 228 earthquakes that's right, so that's at least 30 more than what we were reporting last night at around 200. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours was the 5.5 yesterday, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. But seeing all this minor seismicity across Western California and Southern California, 
Hayward Fault, San Andreas Fault, and look at all this minor activity all around the San Francisco Bay and even in the Bay. San Francisco Zoo reporting a minor earthquake today. So heads up, San Fran and all of California, I've been warning, we're due. Earth is due for a big pulse release of all this pressure that we've seen recently. And I'm talking about all the deep earthquakes we've seen and all the low magnitude earthquakes that we've seen. We're going to see something big here soon. And I hope it's not off the coast there. It's having a look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Things have quieted down a little bit. Ever since those deep thrust earthquakes, Mariana's Trench, big earthquake in the Philippines, increasing activity through Italy, a little bit concerning. South American plate, quiet. North American plate, building in seismicity. Much love to you all and thank you all for watching. If you made it this far in the video, smack that like button, please, and let me know if you enjoy the content information shared here with daily events worldwide. I thank each and every one of you for the love and support in the comment section on the videos and as well all memberships helping support the channel and keep these updates coming. Much love to you all. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery as well most recent volcanoes got Fuego, Guatemala. Lots of flood alerts through the Dominican Republic, West Africa, Ethiopia. As forecasted here with daily events, these floods are still going on. Hundred and almost ninety active hazards. Got Sabancaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, Uluwan in Papua New Guinea. Now that was a huge eruption, fifteen thousand foot eruption. Big S two SO two cloud coming our way. Other notable volcanoes here: Tacono in Indonesia, Santa Maria, Etna in Italy, Semeru, Indonesia, Popocatépetl in Mexico. A lot of volcanoes getting updated today, and that's all in the last eight hours. Nevada's the Ruas, Swiss and Ajima. Large eruptions there as well. Forecast models showing a large SO2 cloud coming through. Extreme weather coming out of the Gulf today. Big systems in the north. Interesting and peculiar low pressure system here developing. Central West Pacific. Long range forecast should be interesting. And as well, big snowy system, cold system heading towards the Aleutian Islands. Multiple waves of moisture coming into BC coastline, overlooking Africa and Europe. North Africa, you've got a big low, North Atlantic low, trying to grind its way through. High pressure ridge, kind of blowing it up, but ensuing a lot of moisture. As you can see, a big line of moisture here being pumped into North Africa, Morocco. So watch for possible flash floods through the area. And then multiple lows here affecting all of Europe. Cold temperatures swinging around. Now let's have a look at the SO2 forecast. Big eruptions. Kamchatka from the regular Russian volcanoes. And as well, notable eruptions coming from Popopoketito over the last 48 hours. All of this being wrapped up into a big low pressure system over the Aleutian Islands. And then overlooking Southeast Asia, and of course, Papua New Guinea here. Huge SO2 plume coming from the larger eruption, apparently reaching up to 15,000 feet. Pyroclastic cloud smashing our atmosphere. You can see the waves here. So yeah, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who was probably affected by an ash cloud today. Papua New Guinea from Uluwan Volcano. And then overlooking Africa and Europe, notable SO2 coming from Etna. And as well, active volcanoes through Africa. 
Now let's get to weather here as we have multiple low pressure systems affecting most of Canada this week. Most of the moisture is going to be north except for that low that's racing through the Gulf states and eastward. Long range forecast shows high pressure ridge and abnormally warm temperatures sticking around until about the end of the month. And then watch for cold highs to move in and that will totally envelop most of North America with cold highs and most likely all that moisture will be turning to snow. Overlooking Europe, Africa, heavy bands of moisture through parts of North Africa and the Mediterranean. High pressure ridge builds in for the United Kingdom. Long range forecast and then a northern low comes from Finland and watch for that to bring in some wintry weather. Overlooking Australia, India, Southeast Asia, possible cyclone development heading towards uh, southern India. In the long range forecast, looks like it could head north as well through the Bay of Bengal. Other than that, big low pressure systems here through the North Pacific are the most notable as they're going to be bringing around rounds of heavy snow to Alaska and all across the Aleutian Islands. Lots of moisture and lots of cold temperatures coming around. Polar vortex is set up and we're still seeing um, some abnormal warm temperatures. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.